All right, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. What's today's date? I don't even know. It's March 9th. Um, I hope everybody's having a really wonderful week. Uh, if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Ashley and I am the transaction coordinator for Lake Life Realty here in Moultonboro. I uh, just wanted to hop on this morning, give you guys some updates about our Client Choice Charity Program. We have a good list today. We have six charities to talk about. Um, if you're not familiar with our Client Choice Charity Program, it is a program we have for every transaction we close, whether it's um, a buyer or a seller, we donate a portion of our commission to a charity of our clients choosing. Um, it's a really rewarding program. We've gotten a chance to donate to, you know, a lot of local charities, um, national charities, and international charities too. So uh, it's really, really great. I um, I love coming on here and um, telling everybody about the charities that we donate to. It's really exciting. So. Um, our first charity of the day is Rafting for Wishes. I know some of my um, friends that have watched my lives before know what Rafting for Wishes is, but if you're not familiar, um, Rafting for Wishes is an annual event um, that benefits Make-A-Wish New Hampshire. Um, and the event is held every year in Meredith Bay where teams man rafts for 24 hours. Um, to raise money for Make-A-Wish. Uh, you can also attend virtually, uh, which it has been going on for the last couple years, I believe. Um, and you can float on a raft of your choice uh, and attend virtually through Zoom, which is really, really cool. Um, we're getting really excited for this year already. Um, last year, we donated over $285,000. Not, not us, not Lake Life, but like the entire event accumulated over two hundred eighty-five thousand um, dollars, and and we can't wait to blow that number out of the water uh, this year. So we're really excited about that. Um, since our last live, we've donated five hundred fifty dollars to Rafting for Wishes, um, and so yeah, that's great. Um, our next charity of the morning is the New Hampshire Humane Society. They are located in Laconia, New Hampshire. Um, a big part of the New Hampshire Humane Society's mission is they want to give um, <clears throat> animals second chances and serve as advocates for them because they cannot speak for themselves. Um, this organization is dedicated to finding responsible and caring and loving forever homes. Um, and, you know, in the meantime, they provide shelter um, and love and support for those animals that have been abandoned, lost, or unwanted. Um, I, I spoke about it last week. Um, this charity is very near and dear to my heart because I am um, a volunteer for the Events Planning Committee for the New Hampshire Humane Society. Um, it's been very rewarding so far. We can't wait to see what this year holds. Um, so keep your eyes out for those events for the Humane Society. Um, and if you're interested in adopting, would like to donate or volunteer, um, you can visit www.nhhumane.org or you can reach out to me directly. Uh, and since our last live, we donated $150 in support of the New Hampshire Humane Society. Our next charity is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, they're headquartered in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, since its opening in 1962, uh, St. Jude's mission um, has been to advance cures and means of prevention for pediatric catastrophic diseases. Um, and they do that through a lot of research and treatment. Um, treatments, at re uh, treatments invented at St. Jude have helped push the overall childhood cancer survival rate from 20% to more than 80% since it opened over 50 years ago. Um, also, families that, um, that go through St. Jude never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food. Um, so we, we really enjoy donating to that, um, that organization. So uh, if you would like to donate or if you would like more information, uh, St. Jude's um, website is www.stjude.org. Um, 
And we donated $200 in support of St. Jude's efforts for childhood diseases. Um, our next charity is one that we actually have not donated to before, and I'm very excited when we get new charities. I love to... Um, I love to highlight those. So this next charity is um, the Calvary Bible Church Food Pantry. They are located in Meredith, um, New Hampshire. And the Calvary Bible, Bible, Bible Church Food Pantry is an appointment-only food pantry that works with the Emergency Food Assistance Program in Concord. Um, they also rely on donations from local businesses, individuals, and families within the community. Um, it's really wonderful. We love food pantries. Um, we love trying to, you know, battle food insecurity. So um, if you would like more information, would like to make an appointment, or are interested in donating to help with the food pantry, um, please visit www.calvarybiblemeredith.com. Um, and we donated $350 to help with the food insecure families of the Lake Region. Lakes Region. Um, our next charity of the morning is rescue.org. Um, rescue.org is kind of like, kind of like an extension of the International Rescue Committee. Um, the IRC is like the big umbrella and then rescue.org is just like the facilitation of donations through it. Um, this is an organization that responds to the world's worst humanitarian crises. Um, including the current Ukraine conflict um, and the crisis in um, Afghanistan. Uh, the IRC helps restore the health, safety, education, economic well-being, and power to people uh, devastated by conflict or disaster. Um, our specific donation did go to the Ukraine conflict, um, but there are different donations you can choose on rescue.org. So if you are interested in donating or would like more information, you can visit www.rescue.org. It's not a hot take. It is rescue.org. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we donated $100 uh, in support of the IRC and their efforts in Ukraine. Um, our next charity of the morning, and it is last, but it is certainly not least, um, the New Hampshire uh, Veterans Home. It is located in Tilton, New Hampshire. Um, the New Hampshire Veterans Home, it was established in 1890. Um, originally named Soldiers Home for Civil War Veterans um, and has provided care and comfort for thousands of service members throughout its over century of being open. Um, their mission is to provide the best quality of life for um, New Hampshire veterans with dignity, honor, and respect. Um, when donating to the New Hampshire Veterans Home, your donation actually can go to a bunch of different things. So um, they have a lot of like different little programs for the residents, like um, um, like therapeutic recreation, which could include birthday parties, um, art supplies, fun outings. I know the website said that they go to like concerts and sporting events, and I love that. I think that's so much fun. Um, your donation can also go to things like home de decorations. So um, they'll like decorate the residents' homes for the seasons and like holidays, which I love. Um, it, your donation could also go to gifts for the residents um, on like holidays and birthdays um, and so many other wonderful things the donations go to. So um, if you'd like to hop on the website, you can see a list of all of the donation categories um, that, that the money can go to. Um, and their website is www.nh.gov forward slash veterans. So if you'd like more information on that. Um, we donated $100 to support veterans in New Hampshire. Um, and that makes a total of, since, since our last live two weeks ago, it makes a total of $1,450 donated to local, national, and international charities since our last live. So, um, I love getting on here and updating everybody about, you know, when we get new charities. I know, um, 
the Calvary Bible Church Food Pantry, Rescue.org, and the New Hampshire Veterans Home are all three new charities that we have not donated to before. So um, I, I love getting to highlight those new charities, and hopefully we get to donate to them in the future. So I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your week. It's hump day, um, and I'll see you in two weeks.